Look at Palantir stock go, guys. Check it out. It only went up 1% on the day, which you might be like, Stas, that's not that much. And honestly, it's not that much. It only went up 19 cents on the day. But earlier in the day, guys, we almost hit over $17 per share. So we're going to break down the charts, do a quick update, talk about my thoughts, what I'm doing. But before we do that, guys, of course, don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video, up to 16 stocks, each up to 2,000 bucks. Use that link down below or just go to stasurfest.com slash Moomoo open up your account, find it with at least a hundred bucks and you get five stocks right off the bat, each up to 2000 bucks and fund your account at least a thousand dollars. You get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And the best part of the promo is if you guys fund your account, at least 5,000 bucks on top of those 15 stocks, you also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Google guaranteed. And guys, that part of the promo is limited time. So use that link down below. And of course that is an affiliate link. I appreciate you guys as always. And with that being said, cheers. Let's dive into it. So like I said, guys, Palantir did not have a crazy day. Like it went up 10% or 20% or anything crazy like that. But it did go up over 1% as the markets did quite well. I'm sure you guys saw we had the Russell up 1%, the NASDAQ 0.5, the S&P up 0.6, the Dow almost went up 1%. So markets did very well today. A lot of individual stocks crushed it. And Palantir was one of them, especially earlier in the day. Like I said in the intro, this thing was almost at 17 bucks a share and we opened at about what 1650 then we saw a little bit of a pullback and this goes to show the strength in the bulls look at this especially on the five day you guys will be able to see it right so we had a little bit of a pullback at open but what did we do we held a higher low you guys see this right well i, I kind of butchered that uh, but bear with me guys let me go like that boom you can see we held a higher low in the morning and we saw a huge push to about 1693 well i guess exactly 1693 that was a move of let me see from 1615 to 1693 that was a 5% move then what do we do after that palantir ended up pulling down to about guess what you guessed it 16 20 roughly which is where it was in the morning we pulled back to that point then we bounced off of it again and we closed on a little bit of an upswing now did we break out into close no uh but we did end up running a little bit let's see about one almost two percent in the last, let's say, uh, what, hour, hour and a half? Yes. Yeah. So for tomorrow, guys, very important. I'm going to be looking at this five-day, five-minute. And, and number one, right off the bat, I'm looking to see if this little uptrend continues. And by uptrend, I mean what we've seen over the past one, two, three days of trading. You guys can see that right here. Let me zoom in. Well, actually, no, four, right? One, two, three, four. Will these higher lows, higher highs continue into the future? And will we end up confirming a breakout, which would mean this needs to start breaking above um, 16, 50, 17 bucks, which if it does, guys, that could be where, well, I mean, if it breaks above 17, that's where it could really start taking out or, uh, you know, taking off, right? But first, it needs to break above, let's say, 16, 60, Break this wedge, then we can start going to 17, at least in my opinion. So I'm going to set my alert now at 1660. And of course, guys, please trade at your own risk. This is not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just breaking down the charts here the way I see them. And I'm just outlining different scenarios that could potentially play out. So that's what I'm seeing on the five day. On the 10 day, you guys can see we hit a high as well, which is great. Obviously, the bulls are in control on the 10 day. It's, uh, it's pretty clear. Now Palantir is up from 1380 on the 10 day. That's the low on this time frame and uh, got all the way to almost 17. We're up over 20% now from the lows on the 10 day and on the 20 day chart, guys, you can see how we're, uh, we're pretty much right there. You know, we're right by the highs from the middle of June at about 17 bucks per share, which I believe could break. Keyword is could, right? If we do start breaking above that wedge on the five day, 1660 starts breaking. Now we're talking to move to 17, probably 17 plus. And with earnings coming out and considering guys, how, uh, how hype people got around Palantir around earnings, especially after earnings, uh, you know, all eyes are on them again now. I mean, geez, look at, look at how it did last time this company reported earnings. The stock was at seven bucks for Pete's sake after earnings. We got the news of gap profitability, then it just soared from there. Maybe shorts were covering, my, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, there were some shorts, <clears throat> excuse me, covering, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Uh, but the majority of this move 
is, in my opinion, due to institutions buying in, right? Big money finally starting to flood in, and that's because of gap profitability. A lot of these uh, big firms, big money, they don't just buy companies that are profitable one quarter, not the next. You know, they're seesawing above profitability. They want consistency, and that's what Palantir is looking to do now. And who knows, guys, if they blow earnings out of the park again, maybe guidance is even better than expected. I don't even know. I mean, it's, it's up a lot, but... But it could go up even higher. That's the reality of the matter, guys. It could go up even higher. And it sure looks like it wants to do that. I mean, if we look here at the four-hour time frame, guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Does this not look really bullish? I mean, look, we held the 180 SMA at 1380, right? We held that or 1350, whatever it was. Then we held another higher low over the past couple of trading days above the 180 SMA, above the 50 SMA as well. And now we're starting to make the break towards the highs from about a month ago. To me, this looks like it's getting ready to explode, erupt into earnings. That's just my opinion. And I'm not telling you guys what to do. Again, please trade at your own risk. But in my eyes, the way this setup is looking, especially if we break above 17, guys, this is really going to be off to the races. And I believe earnings are on August 8th or 7th. Um, they're on the 7th. So they're under a month away. And I'm telling you guys, and, and you know how Palantir is. We don't have to really go over that in this video. I mean, this stock is like a uh, cult stock. I mean, everybody, not everybody, but a lot of retail loves Palantir and they're going to rally behind behind it into earnings and uh, well that could cause a lot of momentum and of course hype social media you know all that builds into it and uh, I'm not I'm not trying to hype it up personally I'm just covering it here objectively the way I see so we'll see I don't know what do you guys think let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell subscribing is absolutely free and it helps me out in the algorithm I appreciate you all as always actually I don't even know if it helps me out in the algorithm either way I have no freaking idea, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And let's quickly look at some other tickers here that ended up moving today. We had a lot of green. Like I said, all the indexes here in the U.S. ended up going up today. We had DraftKings continue to build on those gains. I mean, this thing is just a freaking beast. It went up another 0.3%, nothing crazy, uh, but we are seeing a break above the ascending triangle. We're above the moving averages now. This could potentially uh, continue, but I'm actually leaning more towards um, it pulling back a little bit. If DraftKings could come down to, let's say, 27 bucks again, maybe we test that. We could get some sort of rally off of that point. Maybe, just maybe, time will tell. Let me see what else ended up moving here today, guys. Anything crazy? Looks like Melly could be bouncing back maybe Mercado Libre and eh, not really it went up three percent on the day but it doesn't look like it wants to start reversing um, to the upside anytime soon I mean we have a death cross we're under the moving averages not the best sign with earnings coming up maybe this thing could make a move we have earnings coming up on the second of August so in about three weeks we'll see that's a Mercado Libre ticker symbol M-E-L-I, and I guess uh, that's it. I mean, we could wrap up some more stocks in another video or talk about uh, some more stocks in another video. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, guys. I'm telling you, this is the best promo right now by far. All you guys have to do is use that link down below or just simply go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Open up your account, fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks, each up to 2,000 bucks right off the bat, which is awesome. And if you fund your account at least $1,000 on top of those five stocks you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks guys crazy i know and it gets even crazier fund your account at least five thousand dollars on top of those 15 stocks you also get a free share of either tesla stock or google guaranteed and guys this is the best promo by far right now no joke and the clock's ticking you have five more days for the free stock of either tesla or google so use that link down below and of course that is an affiliate link i appreciate you all as always and with that being said cheers i'll catch you all in the next video.